review this year, guys, we did it, is on integers. So this is the last chapter we just did. So we are going to compare and order the integers and be graphing them on a coordinate plane. So number one asks which is greater, negative $30 or negative $25. So if you're thinking of them on a number line, here would be negative 25 and here's negative 30. Remember to the right is always the larger side and to the left is always going to be the smaller one. So when we're looking for what is greater, we want to go with the number farther to the left. Sorry, farther to the right. I don't know left and right, guys. I have to think really hard about those. So the one farther over here to the larger side will be our greater number. Number two asks us to order these from greatest to least. So if we're thinking of our number line here, so remember our big numbers are over here, our small ones are over here. So I'm gonna just stick zero in the middle to give us some reference. So 21 is going to be on the positive side and here's our negative side always. So we've got 21, then negative 34 will be over here. 65 we know is bigger than 21. We've got negative 12. We'll go in between here. We've got 43. That will go in between 21 and 65. We've got 0, which we've already got here. And then negative 56 is going to be over here. Now as we're putting them in order, it wants us to start with the biggest one and work our way over and say the littlest one last. Number three wants us to order these ones from least to greatest. So as we're going through, we've got negative. So kind of here's our number line here. Kind of stick zero here just so we know. So negative 172. So we'll stick that all the way over here. We've got one, which is going to be close to the zero. We've got negative 127 in between here, we've got a negative one, I'll just here on the other side of zero, we've got a negative 171, so right by that 172, we've got negative 117, which will be over here on this side of 127, and then the absolute value of seven is just seven, so then we've got seven over here. So we didn't actually have zero as a number, but we've got least starting over here, working our way to the greatest. All right, number four says that Jess is building a house. So here's our ground they're building their house on. And the basement floor is going to be 20 feet below zero. So here's negative 20. And the roof of the house is 20 feet above the ground. So then they build their house and then the roof is 20 feet above the ground. So which inequality, so using comparing symbols, accurately compares the heights. So this is like a number line here. We know that our greater numbers will be on the top, the positive ones, the negative numbers the least ones will be on the bottom. So you'll write an inequality to compare those two numbers there. Number five asks you to identify point A on the number line. So like we just talked about, here's zero. We know these are our positive numbers and our negative numbers. So we can see this goes down one, two, three with the negative. Number six asks us, why is the absolute value of negative 11 greater than the absolute value of negative seven? So let's think about what absolute value means. So if you remember, absolute value means just the distance away from zero. So the absolute value of, of negative 11 means that it is 11 units away from zero. And this means that it is seven units away from zero we know 11 is greater than seven. 
when you're talking about the absolute value is telling us that, uh, how many units from zero it is. So number seven, in which quadrant would you find the point over five down to? So remember, we always go over, then up or down. So wants to know which quadrant. So we always start in our positive, positive side. This is one, and we work our way around counterclockwise backwards. Here's the second one, which is negative, positive. Then we have negative, negative is the third one, and positive, negative is the fourth one. What is the ordered pair for point A? So if we look here, we always go over one, two. So we're at negative two, up one, two, three, four, five. So over negative two, up five. Number nine wants us to see which list shows the expression in order from least to greatest, so if we have our number line here to use for reference, we do need zero on there, so that's great, we'll get that there. So negative seven will be over here, and then this is the absolute value of negative five, so this is saying it is five units away, so we'll stick that over here, and then we have zero, which we've got, so two thirds will be pretty close to zero there. We've got one, which is just bigger than two thirds. 2.25 is close to the middle of one and five. And then 1.588 is going to be over here close to the one, five, eight, eight. So we're looking at our least number here, going in order to our biggest one. Hey, and your final practice question is which quadrant is point A located in? So we've got over negative two, up five. So remember quadrant one starts here, always positive, positive, over, up. And then we go to the second quadrant, third one's here, fourth one is here. All right, you guys did it. You have one more quiz to take, and you are done with your sixth grade math. Way to go, guys.